hey, you're home early. Yeah, I'm really, really glad. <sighs> I was missing you so much today. I'm feeling a bit better. My sore throat's the same, my voice is still a little unreliable, but better than before. You take your voice for granted until it disappears. <laughs> I'm sure you thoroughly enjoyed it though, my not being able to talk. Oh, you would never think such a thing. <laughs> so you weren't laughing at me when my voice would crack like a prepubescent boy. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, you were coughing. Hopefully you don't have whatever it is that I have. Why am I in bed? Uh-uh. Wrong question. The question should be, why are you not in bed? Can we stay like this forever? My head on your chest, your arms wrapped around me as the sun sets outside. Hmm. Oh, good. Let's never move from here. I'm okay. Is that a little too close to I'm fine? Hmm, you've noticed I've been a little down, huh? <sighs> well, I guess I can't deny that. I know I've not been as high energy as I usually can be. I feel like it's hard to talk about because it's difficult to put into words. You know what I mean? <laughs> you want me to elaborate? Mm, I can't. I'm currently in hiding. <laughs> no, baby, not from you. Huh, you're the only one who's allowed to come and hide with me. <laughs> you are. Mm, look how perfectly we fit together. Big spoon and little spoon. This is one of my favourite things to do. Especially when you put your chin there. It tickles. I'm not distracting you. Why would I do that? <laughs> not getting out of it, huh? <sighs> you know what I mean. I try not to bother you with my problems and insecurities. I know you said that it's not like that, but I struggle with letting anyone help me. And before you say it, no, you're not just anyone. You're the person closest to my heart. You know me better than I know myself. And I don't want to burden you with my negative thinking. Even though I know in a million years you would never think of it as a burden. It's just hard sometimes. Yeah, you're always there for me. Even on days when I try to hide from the world. <laughs> you find me and burrow down into the depths with me. Uh huh. The depths of this wonderful duvet. <sighs> I don't know where to start. <laughs> the beginning. Now, why didn't I think of that? Mm, I don't know. It's just snuck up on me quietly for a little while now. 
Just this feeling of hopelessness. Like I'm lost and I can't find my way. No, honey, it's not something you've done. Not at all. Hell, I don't think it's anything that I've done either. When things seem to be going well and I feel generally content with my life, this voice in my head starts sowing seeds of doubt about everything. Well, things like I'm not working hard enough or I don't deserve the things that I have. I know. I dismiss it at first, but it must be a part of me that believes all those things, right? I try to push it out of my mind, but then I start to wonder, maybe I need to be doing more, and I start to feel bad for any downtime I might take, to the point where I can't enjoy my regular hobbies, because the guilt just gnaws at me, and any enjoyment I find in them is sullied or gone. Baby, I really don't want to bring you down with me. Mm. I believe you. And now that we're talking about it, I feel silly for not bringing it up sooner. I know you're here for me. You always have been here for me. You can't help but feel guilty because this isn't how you want to spend your time when you get home. Well, yeah, we are in bed. Yes, that's a pretty good way to spend your time. I know, you're right. Can't expect every day to be perfect. I understand that we both have our ups and downs. Hmm. I'm lucky to have you. You see my downs, even if I try to hide them from you. I don't want to make a promise that I may not be able to keep. Okay. I can make that, that's fair. I promise to be more open about how I'm feeling sooner. Where am I at now? Well, after the guilt comes this kind of emptiness, like the weight of the world falls down on top of me. It starts with feeling like I'm not as far along as I want to be in my life, like I should be closer to my dreams and passions, and then I switch and think of how lucky I am to have all the things that I do have and then begin to wonder if I'm being ungrateful for all the good things I have in my life. Oh yeah, it's a very special skill I've honed over the years. Turning everything into a guilt trip. I start to wonder about all the bad in the world and the terrible things that people see and go through. It is a pretty big jump from that to that. But... There's a bigger jump that follows. Mm -hmm. And then I remember, as if suddenly, that we're just a pale blue dot. We're not even a fruit fly in the timeline of the universe. Everything is so unbelievably fleeting. What's the point of any of it? But thankfully, that's when I can start pulling myself back up and out of it all. Most of the time, anyway. Well, past me would just get stuck at that point, and for so long I let it take over me and I stopped feeling things. I just became apathetic to almost everything and everyone. I can't pinpoint what it was that changed that, but I'm glad it did. I feel like it was a mix of stop blaming myself for things and wanting to be happy again. I'd love to give you all the credit, but I met you a little after I had that epiphany and had begun to change. I dread to think if we had met sooner, or if we would have ever met at all. 
<laughs> well, because I wonder if you would still love me like you do now. I wouldn't blame you. I was a very closed off and difficult person back then. <laughs> You're just saying that. Oh, you want to talk face to face? Mm. Hi. <laughs> I'm so glad we're here. I'm right here, right now. Mm. I have a much better hold on myself, but old habits die hard. These feelings managed to sneak back up on me. Seems I couldn't hide it from you, no matter how hard I tried. What happens when I reach the end? Um, I take the reason for my hopelessness and flip it on itself. So, where I would say to myself that the universe is infinite and in it we are nothing, I say that the universe is so vast, infinite and unforgiving, yet... Here we are. I mean, yeah, it'll all come to an end one day, but that's exactly why I have to make today count. And not in the productive sense. Screw being productive. <laughs> exactly. Not every day can be, not every day should be. I don't know when we started feeding ourselves these lies. We have to be constantly working, making more money, and buying more things. I love our lazy days together. Damn it, see, even that, lazy days. They're not lazy. <sighs> the days we go out and enjoy each other's company amongst the trees and the streams, barefoot on the grass, the rainy days that we stay in and spend way too long cooking what was meant to be a simple meal. And the hours we spend entwined together, reading whatever strikes our fancy. Hmm. I can't stay down in the dumps for too long. I value our time spent together far too much for that. Exactly. And I've spent more than enough time without you in my life already. And now that you're here, I'm not letting you go. Thank you. For being you. And you don't have to do anything else. Not that that stops you. Mm-mm. I wouldn't change you for the world. You wouldn't change me? Not even a little bit. <laughs> you know I can tell when you're lying to me, right? <laughs> mm, I know. I can't help teasing you, especially when you're being careful around me. Yes, you are. Don't worry about me. I'm tougher than I look, okay? I am so. <laughs> I could totally take you. You want to bet? Hmm. Loser has to cook dinner. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I know. Loser has to cut the onions for any dishes we make this entire week. <laughs> I know, I'm evil. You still love me, though. Mm. Mm, I love you, too. <laughs>